everyone, I'm Dr. Bay and welcome to my channel. So we're going to do amusement parks and theme parks and I'm starting off at Jukongad and I have the lovely Mrs. Wilson with us, the owner of this place. So Mrs. Wilson, thank Hi. you. Asia. So I'm looking forward to this experience. I hope you are too. Let's go in and let's see how it goes. All right? Okay. This one, one low. Uh, no, Breeza. Breeza. Okay. Okay, wait. Oh, Breeza is Pumba from The Lion King. He's a warthog. No, he's a bush pig. I have a warthog. I think I am in good way. I am in stuff. I don't know. Oh, okay. So, uh, they. Uh, in Sean, I think he, do you know, in Jiro sometimes. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so this is not Pumba. This is a bush pig. Bush pig. Uh, oh. So, U Breeza, we are trying to, uh, he's an omnivore, right? Yes. So, uh, we are trying to, uh, in Yama and, uh, in Panda, this is Sasa. Okay. My car, my food. Hey, Breeza. We are trying to, uh, in What's up, Breeza? This is an so when I get and stuff like, oh, I'm a impand. Okay. So yeah, Spreezer. Uh huh. How old is he? Uh, maybe he's five or something. Like yeah. Really? Oh. So uh, we are trying to get him. My age is the 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 case, I mean. Yes. So we pipe one corner, tap some noise there, like and stuff, and oh. then so we are trying that we can get and then okay. the elephant scene. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. All so right. Okay, here's the stand box. Okay. It's a it's a what? Stand box. Stand box. Stand box. Stand box. Oh wow. Okay, so uh, this is the belly. Ah. Okay. So okay. This is is a male one. It's a male yeah, one. It's got horns. Okay. Oh, it is okay. Lama horns. Yes. All right. Females don't have horns. No. Oh. Yeah, because you know. Male wild animals are the more beautiful ones, aren't it? Yes. Okay. okay. So in here, Lapa, we have common grey diecast. You can see. In yes. Shed. One inside, one outside. One These are common grey diecast. Common grey diecast. So um, you see the way these impuns. Impuns. Oh. Inyamale. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but oh, uh, pocket up and slow. Mel could oh, yes, Fred to visit Lacan. Fred, yeah, I can see him down there. He is Lapo Valecacon. Lapo Valecacon. Why go Valley? Uh, so, uh, as soon as I want to be made to send, uh, so, uh, and about his face or something. So, and about right, and then she's a little up, I'll bloom you from a cool to love. Where is she? Uh, There's a kudu in here. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Oh my god. Yes. She's so cute. Yeah. Okay. Hi. So uh, wow. this is she's pretty. A female kudu. Okay. No okay. horns? Yeah. The pala paland. This is the baby. Okay, try Yeah. Ninyama. Ninyama. I'm playing. I'm just joking. I saw, I think, uh, oh, oh, in Salapa, so, well, Kulela Lapa, I think, 
uh, a problem I can burn in any maybe okay. to mama can stuff. Mm. So she was raised here from a small. So which way around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go in like my seven zero up. She she again by the girl. No. Does she come to you when you call her? Maybe if you have like something to keep. How do you call them? <laughs> How do you call a kudu? <laughs> hey, wow, she's beautiful. She's very beautiful. So this is one of the animals that was rescued. Oh, super! What, what, what's this? It's a cactus flower. So it's from the queen of the night. She likes to eat this. Yeah. And indeed, she's looking at it. Oh my God! I'm about to feed a kudu. I have never done this in my life. Here you go. Oh wow. Do you want to feel my hands? I'm touching a kudu. I fed a kudu. I can't believe it. So she eats, it's a cactus flower. Wow. So my hands are smelling like a cactus flower, I guess. Oh wow. She's very beautiful. Very friendly. She doesn't want to be touched that much, clearly. Hey. <laughs> hey! That's Luna. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Luna. <laughs> yeah, these I've seen in the road. What's yeah. in so, Yeah, I'm a tendon. Okay. So, uh, in this big area, we have uh, birds, right? Birds. Uh, okay, guinea fowls, yeah. white face, whistly, this one, and we have domestic ducks, uh, uh -huh. and we have the flamingo, that one. The, White the, one with the pink legs. Yes, the flamingos. The flamingo. Uh-huh. And uh, we have this this with the crown. The crown bird. Yeah. yeah. What's this bird called? It's the crown fairy. Oh. So this is a chicken kiss and there is a shell text. Oh wow. Okay. That's the aviary. So we have domestics, uh -huh. dogs, guinea fowls, flamingo. And, and don't forget guys, all these animals have been rescued and they've been brought here and they're being taken good care of. I mean, look at them. Yeah. So, they look very uh, happy. Like I said, here at Chipangali, uh, we keep uh, animals that are abandoned, injured yeah. animals, orphaned animals. So abandoned, if, injured, orphaned animals. Yeah, as soon as we can release them, them back, back to, back to the, wild. the wild. Okay, all right. Oh, hey, fella. There are two of them? Yeah. Oh, okay, what are they called? Samango monkeys. Samango monkeys. Hey. They're indigenous to Zimbabwe. They're indigenous to Zim? Yes. Okay, so this is, uh, this is Samantha and Queenie. Yeah. Samantha and Queenie. Uh, Samantha and Cindy. And Cindy. Cindy. That's Cindy, that's Samantha. That's sad. Uh, Samango monkeys, so mm -hmm. they're indigenous to Zimbabwe, the far in Eastern Highlands. Okay, Kobonyanga and stuff. So. Inyanga area? Yeah. Okay. So they like to. Nice. Yeah. So, Zinka is in. Does she know her name? Yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Samantha? Hi, Sam. So, uh, yeah, okay. Uh huh. Uh, I'm the one who's taking care of these. So these two monkeys, they are my friends. Okay. You see here, we have two cages. Okay. Yes, one, one, two. This one and this one. Oh, right. yes. So Ooh, if vale. I need to go in here and clean the water bowls, I talk with them. Guys, I need to clean this. Okay, because I can't go in with them. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, guys. And then, uh, they and they respond. Yes. To wow. me, they can. To you, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, so these are velvet monkeys. Velvet monkeys. They are indigenous to Zimbabwe too. So Hi. These ones. Wow. 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 Those are some serious Big sharp teeth. Yeah. Sharp teeth. You would not think. Because <laughs> this little guy has such sharp teeth. Okay, so there's Ungas Tola everywhere. Yeah, we know yeah, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen you guys. Mm -hmm. Now, in this uh, case, we have 
baboons. Oh yes, yeah. baboons. Yeah. So we are trying to make uh, a troop so that we can release them back to the war. Okay. So, the okay. is that the a troop. Yes. So, and then if we can make a troop, and then we can release them back to the world. Uh -huh. Okay. It's like we have one Liana, Liana, in and then you got something like boom, big bomb. So, yeah, we that's a female. That's a female. Oh, and she's in heat. Yeah. Oh, because of her behind. Yeah. We're learning. She's scared of the guy. But she's a, a big guy, you can see. Oh, yeah. He's a big guy. So. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's grown. Yeah. And this one is a male also. Yeah. Okay. Two. Two males. And you've separated them because Bangalore? They'll yeah, fight? Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll fight in general or they'll fight because she's in heat and they can sense that? No, we can fight in general. In general, yeah. just. Okay. So, wow, this is interesting. I did not know that's what happens when a female yeah. baboon is in heat. There's a Rafiki, Rafiki, yes, in the Lion King. This is the guy. Okay, cool. So what's this? Okay, so here we have uh, some mango monkeys and to the vet and the baby baboons. Oh, these are the baby baboons. Okay. But they are all found. Oh, these? Okay, they are... Uh, uh, okay. So... These ones not taller outside? Yeah. Abandoned? Yeah. Okay. I can't help but notice that something is blue there. Why? Yeah. That's normal? Yeah, it's normal. If they are mature enough, if they are young ones, uh, masses could be mm -hmm. the balls become blues. So, so I want to say something, but I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> that's good. Did you see this? Did you get a close up? You should go and see. Guys, you need a close up. <laughs> the balls are blue. They're literally blue. Blue balls. Most of the visitors are the people that came in this. Oh, wow, guys, you paid. Blue, yeah. Like, no, we didn't pay them. Kunoma. Like Kunoma. Guys, I think you need to come and just. So, you guys had a black rhino. A female black rhino who was being taken care of here. Yeah. And unfortunately, poachers broke into the. Orphanage. You know, to the orphanage. And they killed the mom, obviously, for the tusks. Yeah. And she was actually pregnant. pregnant. And this is the preserved baby rhino this is so sad yeah. this is That's really sad. sad yeah yeah so guys if you can join be part of it i know um who's this prince harith has adopted a rhino here in zimbabwe i know about that so guys if you can take part so that we can save our animals that'll be absolutely amazing because this is sad yeah, you know please. we could be having a mother rhino and a baby mm -hmm. rhino black rhinos they're very rare guys to yeah. find you know and we could stop the stop poaching ah, so here we have uh, many uh you know what of, uh, snakes of, yeah yeah of okay okay uh this is, i'm not uh, there i'm not there i'm not there okay. yeah so uh, but, this but, is, uh, but you need to look lion okay. what happens oh these are the results of poachers no, this is not from the poachers. I think the baby dies or the mama then. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay. So well, uh, we have uh, different types of fetuses here. Oh, this is so sad. Okay. For example, a cobra head. You've got. Oh my god. Different types. All sorts. A black mamba. Oh my god. So, slaves, they are not fetuses. I'm a name. So, uh. You know what, guys? I am so scared of snakes. I know that these snakes have been dead for years and whatever, but I'm not going near them because I don't know. In my mind, I don't know if it's because I watch a lot of horror movies. In my mind, that thing can actually wake up just for me. 
just to say, yeah, you are here. So yeah, no, they, snakes can stay there. Yeah, we're good. All right, so as you saw, they've got a lot of preserved animals which have passed. Obviously, some have unfortunately died. Um, but it's all by natural causes and they've preserved them and a lot of people who come and learn about these are besides adults school kids so this is a moment of education i'm going to leave because there's snakes in jars and yes but now unfortunately they've actually a section which has real snakes which yeah. are alive i don't so get paid I enough <laughs> no i won't i'm very i'm funny and who's this one-legged creature? This, this one is Plava. Plava. So wait, is hiding the other leg or is got yeah, one? Hiding okay, leg. okay. So this is some serious balance. Okay, let's see. I'm ready. I mean, I'm feeling you. Me and you, we in the same. Really? Seriously? That was shady. <laughs> okay, whatever. I ain't gonna go there. Inside the pond of yeah, I think so. Oh wow. See these are the animals that mm -mm. <coughs> Welcome to the snake pit. Welcome to the snake, the snake pit. Y'all can go. Yeah, I'll be waiting for you down. outside. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm banini. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're with the snakes. As you know, for me, snakes, we don't go. So here we have a puff here adder. Here we have a puff adder. Yeah, there it is. Okay. There and it is. is. There it is. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. So it's, uh, so it's poisonous, but uh, it's not dangerous, I think. What's that? Oh my God. That's what? So this is a kaboom viper. Yes. Okay, let's move slowly. Okay, there's I'm in between cages. Okay, what's with the scare? Oh, hey, Yazi. Oh, there are many. There are three. There are three. Yeah, I think there's a baby. There's a baby. Yeah, so okay. All right, but I must come say something. Come closer, guys. Look at that. Imagine. Please don't be in my inbox questioning me. I'm just saying. Look at that pattern. That beauty. The 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 the. Oh god, the, 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 the handbag or whatever it is. Yeah, look at that. But it's beautiful. Yeah. Look at those. That is beautiful. As scary as this thing is. So what happens to all the skin? The skin. That shed. What happens? You just leave it there? Yeah, I think we can take it out. Ah! We can oh. move this poop. So. Okay, yeah. and then you just throw out the skin? You yeah. throw the skin away? That's very painful to hear that naturally shedded skin is thrown away instead of me having squama, a band. What are you going to do with it? Squama, a band. Okay, that was the shot. Oh, guys. Okay, so if you guys notice that big head, the owner of that huge, no, not the huge body. I just want to get over and done with this part is that head on this side okay seen it it's looking at us done and then we've got more <gasps> look at it's 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 puffing it's puffing it's puffing up it wants to strike look at that look at that it's going up is it just breathing or is it just getting ready to strike it's warning you yeah, yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Are you people seeing this? This thing is moving. <laughs> Guys. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, but Kusiami is Katulo lazy. Yo. This thing really can camouflage in leaves. Okay, can we move? Okay, there's one, two, three. I've seen them. Can we move? I'm going to go behind you because I just don't want to be near them. Okay, so here we have a bee python. A bee python. 
Here we have a big python. I it's the it maybe it's like two meters and a half. African yeah. rock python. Yeah, there it is. Inside. Yeah. I think it's about maybe two. It's okay. Five. We've seen it. Let's move on. There's more to life. <laughs> really? And who's this green guy? It's a green mamba. Hey, hey, it's moving. Hi. No. Why? But why? Why do you need to, like, you know? Oh my god. No, not beautiful. <laughs> this is a green mamba. Yeah, it's a green mamba. This is as close as I'll ever get to a green mamba in my life. Okay, can we go now? Done thank you, thank you very much. We're done with the snakes. I'm very happy. Uh, okay, so blah, ooh, shake it off. Ooh, snakes. Okay. Okay, now we're going to see the crocodiles. Crocodiles. Okay. Uh, so here we have two big crocodiles. Then we use them two are as in Kuru. So how come those plants are on top of them? Is it it's from the water? Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, yes, no, we need the guy. So that's guy, that's Winnie. Winnie, she's 90 years old. She's 90. 90. She's been here uh, for four to five years. Wow. And then guy, he's uh, 47. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, the male one and the female. Okay. So in here, we have uh, small yeah. crocodiles. I see them. Uh huh. Wow. Crocodiles live to be what? Mm. My hundreds, right? Mm. Okay. I'm not a fan of crocodiles. Now to the carnivores. Now uh, to the birds of prey. Oh, the birds of prey. Ah. And who's this one? An owl. An owl. Yeah. Oh, you're dancing. That's right. Shake, shake. Do the twist, twist. Do the twist, twist. Check it out. It's doing the twist. The owl is actually doing the Bye. twist. Do the twist, oh. twist. Do the twist, twist. Do the twist, <laughs> twist. Do the dun, dun. So why is he doing that, really? I think it's normal. Oh, let's do this. This is night ten now. So they are work during the night, I think. So it's asleep now. Is it alive? It's alive. Ilele, hey. ifugi, ilele. I think it's uh, a video. Kite eagle. Kite eagle. It's a host. It's a host. It's a host. Wait. That sound that it's making. That's the sound. Yeah. You know, there's when I'm at home, I'm always hearing that sound. Because yeah. it's an eagle. Because there's a lot of different types of eagles, mainly. So, guys, here's a good example. We're at the eagle cage. And you've got this eagle right here. As you can see, the wing is injured. Yeah. So if it was in the wild, it would not survive. Yeah. You know? So this is an example of a bird which is now, which has been rescued, it's going to be nursed and then released back into the wild. Okay, so I, I think uh, it's a thorn eagle. This is a thorn eagle. Thorn eagle. Ah. Yeah, that that is. Yeah, it's flotilla. Yeah. I don't know whose whose feather is this one? This is the one. This is his feather. So I just found his feather. I'm gonna keep it. Thank you. So that one, the big one, is a snake eagle. A snake eagle. A snake. That one is the African hawk eagle. Okay. So. Snake eagle. These are the ones that go for snakes. Yes. Uh -huh. Interesting. I witnessed a moment, guys, when I was driving and an eagle literally grabbed the snake from the road. It was a beautiful moment, but at the same time, I closed my windows because you never know, you could drop it. Yeah. <laughs> it's an owl. It's a giant eagle owl. This is a giant eagle owl. Yeah. Guys, check out the way it turns its head slow-mo and then check out it's got natural eye makeup yeah. that is some beautiful natural eye makeup yeah. 
props to you. Yes, sir. So, Why are you making that sound? You don't like us? Okay. Okay, so I've just been told he also has injured his wing. So unfortunately for him, he can no longer return to the wild. So they'll be keeping him here and uh, taking care of him. Really, I love your eyes. Seriously, seriously. good, gorgeous eye work. It's, uh, here we have spotted the owls. Are these the ones we see at home? Yes, it's cold. Yeah, this is a This is another eagle, aren't it? I need. Yeah. And this, wing is also uh, broken. Yeah, this yellow picard. Mm -hmm. That gray one is a gym gym and, uh, There's an owl also at the back there. So, um, here's another example of an eagle whose wing has been injured and in the wild they wouldn't survive. So what happens is when people p are just driving along the road and they see an eagle or an owl or any animal which is still alive and injured, you are free to bring it here to the orphanage at Chipangali and these guys will take care of it. So that's how they get a lot of these animals. People call in, some people bring them over yeah, so that they can go out there and, just and look for them. Out. No, people do bring animals. So guys, if you do see a wild animal which is injured and you think, oh, well, no, there is the option of bringing it here to the orphanage. It will be taken care of. And here we have an African <laughs> hawk. An African hawk. La Paslen Mungudi, still a 37 years here. 37 years here? Because. Yeah, you can see it's raising one wing, but the other one completely gone. Oh, shame. This is a female. Yes. Tower Henry. A female called Henry? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> then, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. We have a mirror. Yeah. Oh. So this is in Ngulu, yes, in Debele, and in Shona? Chapungu. Chapungu. All right. It's a battle. Its eyes are closed and it's snoring. Wow, really? It's snoring. Have you ever seen an... It's an owl, aren't it? Yeah. Have you ever seen an owl snore? Well, here you go. It's snoring. <laughs> it's fast asleep. How do you stop people from snoring? You plug their nose? You pl I don't know, but it's snoring. So now we're at the carnivores, all right? Yeah. Okay. And we start with a bird which I particularly do not like. I know this one is a vulture. vulture. Yeah. And then uh, the wing. Uh, one wing which is broken. Yes. Okay. Can so can no longer fly and well. Okay. Oh, who's this beautiful guy? Several, servals. Listen to that sound. Wow. So this, who's who, male, female? Yeah. Okay. Prince and princess. Prince and princess. Oh. Yes, in the very close. This is, this is what you call a catwalk, people. Look at that stride. Look at that pose. Look at that turn. Take a cue. <laughs> Models. A ah, beautiful animal. Who's in here? Leopard. Oh, leopard. Oh, guys. This animal is beautiful, elegant, and very arrogant. I will not lie. A leopard, you know, a leopard, to it. I think it knows that it's so beautiful. 
look at it aha what what is it we're just i'm just passing and you're already giving me attitude you know mm. wow this is a female leopard Teresa. oh wow oh you don't breed leopards they do not breed leopards so the female by herself male by himself they just oh there he is oh now that is a pose look at you I know absolutely beautiful how old are these leopards five or six years why is he coming to me Hey, he's beautiful. No, you're, you're beautiful, dude. Look at that. Yeah. Really? Seriously? But no, you are beautiful. Oh, I wish you could hear that sound. That growling. Hi. Oh, this is beautiful. That fur is beautiful, people. Yeah. Can anyone hear this sound that he's making? Yeah. It's nice. I really hope the mic is picking this up. It's a, it's a, it's purring. It's literally purring. It's like, boom, a boom, but it's a, obviously a strong purr. Yeah. What's his name? Mlilo. Mlilo. Aaron, you are beautiful, Mlilo. Yeah, I'm Mlilo Mushi, serious. Ah, no questions about that one. Yeah, I think you, Mlilo, uh, I'm a leopard. Yeah, I'm a leopard, you're a tender. Yeah, I... They're so beautiful. Ah, they're beautiful. Okay, so guys, this is the moment it is no mistake that i'm wearing these because mina equal okay i know they're caged i know they're secure but i'm not lying i'm still scared we have reached the king and queen of the jungle of the wild animals the lions let's go see them how many lions do you guys have uh, 16 they have 16 lions, full grown lions. I mean, I'm breathing heavy guys because you don't understand, these animals are powerful. These are very powerful animals. And look at these beautiful women. What, what are they hovering around for? What's happening? Yeah, I'm very scared. And look at how she's looking at us. Guys, big, these are big. big lions. <gasps> Whoa! Look at that face. Look at the teeth. Hey, when now? <laughs> really? To move? <laughs> really? So in here you you only have three females? Yeah. So Chaga was staying here with them. So Chaga the male lion yeah. who unfortunately yeah. passed away. Yeah. And she's growling and she wants you. <coughs> and I'm done. Ha Uncle Siamba. Ha weak. Ha I like how you are so fine, just standing there. I'm okay. I'm not. Do you hear her growling? No, because you know what? That's a female. I'm a female. Oh, oh. Okay. I didn't do anything. Just walking. I dropped my feather. 
So why is she so agitated by our presence? Maybe she don't like you. Do you hear her growl? She doesn't want me here and I'm not even going to fight that. And the others are also starting up. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Part one done. So as you see, the lions, they're very agitated. They're moving around. It's because it's feeding time. Now the thing is, people who own um, poultry farms or have um, a wild stock, I, I am keeping a lookout for just a lion. I know I can go into this gate. So people do donate and give and bring food here for the lions. So if you have a poultry farm, if you have livestock, which you are willing to donate to these guys, it would really, really help. Yeah, yeah. It will really help maintain the lifestyle of these lions. So someone has uh, donated, I believe it's some chickens and they're going to be fed. So in here, we've got five full grown male lions. I mean, look at the size of these guys. Azzy, wow. This is serious stuff. So, wow. Wow, okay, let's, let's, let's go. Cause, yeah. Um, you are big, you're beautiful. I, I think the females have a problem with me. I'm just saying, you know. I think the most aggressive. Yeah, females are the most aggressive, yes? Because females are the hunters also. All right guys, so I'm calm. I'm breathing better because we've walked away and we've moved away from the carnivores. I'm feeling much better. So guys, this is, in my opinion, an awesome and a great achievement that these people are doing. You know, they don't get paid for this. They don't get thanked for this, but it's not only uh, an orphanage, but it's also an educational center because yep. the majority of people do come here and they learn about these animals and they take care of these animals. So they dedicate their time and all their efforts to it. I personally have played with little cubs. I'm sure a lot of people have. And I have been in a situation where I have had the opportunity of being around full grown lions. That's another story. I was young, I was crazy, <laughs> now I'm old. Let's go. <laughs> So guys, I had an awesome time here. I learned a lot and it's a place where you can come with your family, friends, the schools, you know, please do continue to come and show support for these guys. Yes, we grab, you know, I hate, I'm scared of snakes and I don't like snakes and um, I'm terrified of lionesses. So, but guys, this was awesome. So don't forget to subscribe, like, Hit that notification bell. Follow me on Insta and Facebook. And I'm Dr. Bay, leaving Chipangali. See you next time. Asam Ben Kaya, guys.